tuition is going up um, the next upcoming, I think it's the next semester or the next year, it will be raising and a lot of students have been having problems with it because as it is already, students are having problems paying for school really. College students around the region say it's a tough time to pursue an education if you don't have the financial means. For Axton Lindbergh, Stanislaw State was the original plan until tuition prices became clear. I'm looking for full-time employment, looking for a job that offers tuition assistance because it's too expensive to go on my own. And with the interest rates on student loans being wildly outrageous also, I don't want to be sacked in debt for the rest of my life. Still, many say a degree is needed nowadays more than ever. With declining enrollment since the COVID-19 pandemic being a concern. Many of our students ultimately stopped out during that time. Um, for a multitude of reasons. Um, they may have had to work more. They may have had to change locations. Stanislaus State University recently announced that it secured a $3 million state grant aimed to boost enrollment and retain students here. According to the school, that grant money will be used for things like expanding retention and enrollment programs, adding staff to guide first-year students, and implementing an early notification system for staff to know about students showing signs of personal struggles. Maybe they're missing classes, maybe they're not turning in homework or logging into Canvas. Here's what students had to say about it. I feel like I make a, a little bit of a dent, but we can definitely get some more, especially at a state school. Students say they hope a piece of that money will go directly to those who need it most. If they used it towards starting a low income program where you can come in and make payments on tuition instead of having to rely on FAFSA. In Turlock, Josie Hart, KCRA 3 News. This is a five-year grant. Stanislaus State is also looking into mental health resources and opening what they call a Warrior Reengagement Center, named for their mascot. This would help returning students explore their financial options.